Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm, um, oh, I'm sitting on something. I'm sitting on my phone. <laughs> Hi guys, um, so I'm here to just do a quick little video. I don't want to be here too long talking about anything specific. I, I want to talk to you guys about makeup today. I'm just going to leave it like that. Fine. Okay. I just want to talk to you guys about makeup today. Okay, so today I have on Mannequin by Jeffree Star. Um, perfume of the day is um, Bombshell by Victoria's Secret. Okay, now that I have that out of the way. Um, oh my God. You guys, I have a final tomorrow. I have a final tomorrow. And... Um... To be honest with you, I am exhausted. I worked all day today. I'm just not... I just don't want to work all week. And I have to work all week. And then Christmas Eve... Um, I may work on Christmas Eve too, which is also... I hope I don't, but I think I might. What are you going to do? Mmm... So, whatever. It is what it is. I got my highlights. I got my hair done. Um, what else? Okay, so New Jersey came on tonight. However, this is not a New Jersey review because um, I just didn't have time to rewatch it. I just watched it once. I was like, I'm not going to watch this whole episode again tonight and, then re and review it. I was just like, whatever. I, I could have done that, but I didn't want to sit there and rewatch the whole thing. It was such a good episode, though. Just keep, just keep me real. Like a little sneak peek in my episode review. It was a really good episode. And there was a mid-season trailer tonight. So that means there's only going to be 14 episodes. Because tonight's episode was number 7. So that means there's going to be 14. The mid-season trailer looks good. Um, this episode was really good. I really did enjoy it. Um, I'll give you an in-depth review. In the actual review. But. You know. What the hell am I now? But, um, something was said... Oh, I got my nails done, by the way. But the end of the episode really touched home with me because of the fact that Danielle was, um, don't, doesn't like Marty's children. And, um, you know, everyone was saying that that's not right. You know, the stepmother should love, like, the children. And, and if Marty was smart, you know, he wouldn't be marrying Danielle because no one should talk about someone's children like that and then marry them. So it was a very, it hit home for me. The episode hit home for me. So you're going to get an in-depth review later, but it was a really good episode. I just got to keep it to you. A really good episode. Um, that being said, video is coming, coming up during the week. Um, I'm going to do a, um, what I got for Christmas. I'm going to do a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I was going to do Christmas, but now I'm going to do New Year's. So a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. Um, what else? I had other things planned. I think I might do the Je a Jeffree Star Cosmetics collection video. I know I keep promising that and I'm not doing it, but like I think I'm gonna do it very soon. So stay tuned for that. But this video specifically, <clears throat> of course, in all my videos, read the description box. Because I know um, I don't really talk about this, so I'll talk about the description box, but I do write a lot of things in the description box about what the, what the video is going to be about and sometimes when I'm rambling on like this and I don't get to the actual point of the video I put timestamps in the description box so you guys can see you know you guys can know when I'm going to actually start talking about the actual purpose of the video so without further ado I'm going to start talking about it now so the real purpose of the video I wanted to talk to you guys about makeup like, what I have in my face. I never really talk to you guys. I usually, I always say Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But I never really talk about what's on my face. Like, actually, like what I use, brushes and stuff. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to you too about that right now. Because you, I'm always having my makeup done in every video. So, I thought, why not, you know? Okay, so first I'm going to do concealer. 
So the first thing I do, I have this Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and, and I'm at the very bottom of this. So I'm using this up. I'm in the shade Light. So I really, really like Born This Way concealer. I think it's really, really nice. Um, it smells good, too. It kind of smells like peaches and cream. I always got this peaches and cream like type of smell with it. I don't know why. Too, all Too Faced products smell good. So the Born This Way concealer is really good. I have to admit, it's really, really good. I really like the Born This Way one. Um, and I blend that with the Kat Von D um, concealer brush. So what I do is I take the concealer before I do anything, and I put it on my, where I shave, like my, my over here, my upper lip and my chin. And I put that there, because that needs extra concealing. And then I do my, the middle tier here, because I just feel like there's, I don't know, I always get like weird lines or something here, so I always like, just put extra concealer there. And then after concealer, and I blend it out with the brush, <clears throat> I use foundation. I always use Makeup Forever HD. I'm in the shade Y325. And then I blend that with a Sephora brush in 45 Multitask Complexion. So what I do is I pump it on like a cup. I try to do, well, I don't know, my face. I don't know if I have a big face or whatever, but I usually do like four pumps. So I'll do two pumps on half of my face and the other two pumps on the other half of my face. And I always do the neck too. Don't forget the neck. People always forget the neck. I think the neck is very important because you need to, because then the color will be different. You need to really blend it down in the neck. It, it, it does put everything come together full circle. It looks really nice. So after I do that, then I use um, the MAC Studio Press Powder to set the foundation and everything that I just put on my face, the concealer and the foundation. And um, by the way, nothing's drugstore except for liquid liner, which we'll get to in a second. So yeah, so Studio MAC Fix, um, whatever. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like it. I'm in the shade NC25. So I take another brush, but it's the same, it's the same brush, it's the same, it's the same 45, um, multi-texture, multi, multi complexion brush. It's the same brush, but it's, it's different. I have two different ones, but it's the same brush. But I use one for foundation and one for the powder. So I just dip it in the powder like this, and then I go all around the face, just to set it, you know, I tap it in, I tap it in, I tap it in. Like, even now, I could probably, you know, just... I really do what I need, like, and then I always bring this during the day just to, like, touch up. I usually just touch up my chin and my upper lip because I feel like that's what gets the makeup goes away on that. Always. I don't know why, but I guess when I, after I eat, that always happens. Like, the ma makeup goes, you know, the makeup disappears around my lip and my face over here because I eat and then I wipe it with napkin, so... So yeah, I do do that. And then, um, after that, I do eyebrows. So I use, the only thing I use, I use one product. I use Anastasia Brow Definer. I brush them with the brush. And then I use the pen. And I'm in the shade Medium Brown. And I just, I just go fill them in. You know what I mean? I just fill them in. I try to be precise. It's, I feel like this is, out of everything, this is the hottest part for me because it's the most... It's just the most time-consuming. You have to be really perfect. You know what I mean? Of course, they're not going to always look like twins, but you're try, trying to make them look like sisters, at least. So, you know. So, that's what I do with the brows. After the brows, I use um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion for the eyes. And then I just, you know, fill, I just, this is the only thing I don't use a brush with. So I just put, I just fill, you know, blend that with my finger. And then I take a tissue and wipe off the excess of that because, you know, it gets weird. And then I normally dip into China White, which is in the Beauty Killer palette. Which, guys, look at China White. Yeah, China White's the white one, obviously, over here. Yeah. So I dip into that. And whatever's left in there, because it's like nothing left. And then I dip into that with this brush. This is the um, Sephora Base Shadow Brush. So I dip into China White and the Beauty Killer Palette by Jeffree Star, and I just, just 
just basically set the um, eyeshadow primer. Then I just go in with whatever color. I usually just do either Androgyna Beauty Killer. I just do whatever color, you know, whatever colors I want. Sometimes I mix and match. And then I'll use um, whatever. I'll use this. I'll use um, the shadow brush just to put in. Sh put sh uh, I try. Well, this is actually more for the crease. I do this more for the crease. This brush, and then I use this dual ending Sephora brush this side to put like dark in the crease or put another color in the crease. Then on this side is I'll put the shadow. Like this side of the, the du this is shadow. Yeah, this is crease and this is shadow. They have names on it. It's two o five from Sephora. The dual ending. And then I use this this side of the brush to just use whatever shadow I want to use. And then I take, um, if I want to darken up the corner, I take this brush. This is the um, small shadow brush. And this is also Sephora. All, all my brushes are from Sephora, basically. And then I just darken that on the corner or whatever I got to do. And then sometimes I just use this brush, the Precision Smudge. I don't know if I'm supposed to use it for this, but I do anyways. I use this for like a corner highlight here for my tear ducts, and I just highlight the corner there. Um, then after that, I use a liquid liner. This is the only drugstore item I have in my makeup. This is 24 hour wear color precise eyeliner from Rimmel. This is drugstore. You can get it from CVS, wherever you want to get it from. So this is just a liquid eyeliner. This is also very testy because you have to be really, really careful because, you know, girl, you don't want to make a mess. So you just try to stay in the line, you know, close your eyes and then line the, over the shadow that you do, right? Okay. Then, I normally use Urban Decay eyeliner, so I'll just show that. It's all the way down. I have nothing left. I have to get a new one. I don't even know where it is. It's like all the way down. Here it is. It's like, you can't even see it anymore. It's like so small. This is it. It's Urban Decay. It's, it's in the shade Provision. It's black. There's like nothing left. I have to get a new one. Oh my god. But luckily, I got another eyeliner from Sephora for my 100 points, because I got 100 points from Sephora. And I use, I'm using that Sephora eyeliner, which is nice, but this, this Urban Decay one's the best, so. So I just use it on my waterline, you know, I just go on my waterline. After that, I take this concealer. This is NARS. A uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ch Chantilly, light one. And this is almost out too, I've been having, I had this over for over a year now. So I take this and I just go, this is for the under eyes. For the bags or the whatever the coloring all I just I go under the eyes with the cream. I blend it with the same brush I did the concealer with the Born This Way Too Faced. So the Cap on D one concealer brush. And I go under the eye and I scoop it like this, blend it in the bottom, you know? Then after that I set the con that concealer with this Sephora brush, small it's called Pro Small Blush brush. Because this is for blush, but you know, I use it for this. And then I, I then I set it with this, I don't know what this is, translucent powder, loose setting powder, translucent powder, yeah, with this. So I just tapped some in into the, 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 the top of the jar here, like, you know, I tap it in, and then I just pat it in with the brush, and then I go under the eyes. You know, just sweeping under the eyes. Just to get the rest of that. Just to, you know, set everything. Then after that, I highlight my eyebrows. I normally highlight it with Jeffree Star um, Ice Cold Highlighter. Skin Frost. Which, you guys, look look at this. Like, I'm like, do you not see that? Like, I'm big dent. Big dent. Girl, it's a big dent. Then after I highlight that, I highlight it with this brush. This is, this is from Urban Decay. This is from the Alice Looking Glass Eyeshadow Palette that came with this dual ending brush. And I use this side for highlighting my brows. It's a crease brush, but I use it for the eyebrows. And then, after that, I use mascara. Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. This is the Birthday Collection Glitter Collection. So that's why it's glittery. Okay. And then I contour and highlight. So what I do with contour and highlight, I use, I do my whole makeup here sitting on my vanity. But my contour and highlight I go in the bathroom to do because I feel like it's better lighting. So I usually bring either the Eclipse highlighter or the Sarvacophagus highlighter. 
I take my Kat Von D dual ending um, contour brush and highlighting brush. I take, but I don't use this side. Well, I use this side, I'll tell you for a second, but I usually really just use the contour side. But this I use for highlight. This is the Sephora Highlighting Pro Highlight Brush. So I take that with me. Then I take this with me because I contour my nose with the, this side of the Dallas The Looking Glass Sephora eyeshadow, uh, brush. And I contour with this side of the brush. And I contour my nose. And then I'll pat it with the same brush I, I set my foundation with. I pat it with the Sephora, um, you know, what's it called? Sephora Multitask Complexion. I pat it to just blend the contour in. Then I take the contour brush. On oh, the contour I use is Anastasia Beverly Hills light to medium contour kit. And I go into the middle shade here, which I have not hit pan on yet. I've been using this every day, it's crazy. So it's a lot of product you get in there. So I go in there and then, you know, I do the, my, my nose and then I, then I go in there with this and then I do my cheeks, you know, contour my cheeks. Then I go, I take this brush, the, the highlighting brush, whatever, then I go into this shade right here, the white one. And I just go like, like I try to chisel the contour on both sides of the face. Then I highlight. So I highlight with the Sephora Pro Vision Blush, and then I just go in with either Eclipse or Sarcophagus. I go in, I do a hefty amount on both sides, some on my nose. Then after that, I take, go back with this brush that I contoured my nose with, and I just fill back in the nose just to shape it, reshape it, and just to, you know, perfect it. And then I put in, I put on my, I'm done with my makeup. I put on my all-nighter setting spray, Urban Decay, and I just close my eyes in this spray. A few times, and then I go like this, just to air it out or whatever, a few times. And then it's lipstick, but I do my hair first, and then last, last, after I put on my outfit and everything else, then I do lipstick. So lipstick's the last thing I do, even after I put, I put my shoes on, I do it, and then I put on lipstick. And my perfume, then lastly, right before I get out the door, I do my lipstick. So don't let you know, I'll wear any lipstick, like, whatever. Today I'm wearing mannequin, but this is, what, this is celebrity skin, you know, I'll just, I take it out, I'll put it on, or whatever. And then I'll wait for it to dry. Once it's dried, I may put a gloss over it. Could be any gloss. This is, um, whatever. It could be any gloss. This is Kim Kardashian gloss in the shade Juicy. Whatever. I just put this on, maybe over it. Whatever. Go like that. And then I'm out the door. So that's it. That is my makeup. How I do my makeup. I know I didn't do it like actually do it, but I thought maybe if I just sit here and I talk to you guys about it, it's easier. Um, you guys know all my trips, my tricks of the trade, and how I do my makeup now. One day I will do it live, but I thought just to show you guys the products up close and personal and everything up close and personal, like you guys get the point here. Like I don't need to actually do it on my face. You guys get the point of what I'm saying here. So yeah. Sometimes I line my lips with, you know, Jeffree Star or any liner. But that's the thing. As I said, the Jeffree Star lip liner sometimes works, sometimes don't. So that's it. That's how I do my makeup. And then I leave and that's it. And I leave and then I come home and whatever's left of my makeup is what's left of my makeup. I mean, it stays all day though. Like my face and makeup that I do every morning stays on the whole day. It stays on like 12 hours. You know what I mean? So it, it's a really long wear. Um, I take off my makeup with Neutrogena Calming Makeup Removal Wipes. And that's it. So, alright. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably so long. The next video will be the New Jersey episode review. And then after that, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe it will be the Christmas. What I got for Christmas. Okay? I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And bye.